I will be showing you or teaching you guys how I make tap akamu, the local ogi, whatever you want to call it. This is how I do it. So I've already started the work, but there's nothing there. You just buy corn, you grind it in the market, or you grind it in your home. It's actually better if you grind it at home. But because of the um, large quantity I'm making, video, video down, video on it. Just let me shoot this thing. This thing on video is good. Yeah. I'm Sorry, yeah, so sorry about the voice interruption. The person that, I'm, that is videoing is actually a very naive person. She doesn't really know much about all of this. So this is, a, it's already blended. I'm already, I'm already half done. Okay, so these are the tools I have. This is the sieving cloth. This is the basing that I'm using. I'm already have one. This is like the chaff, as you can see. So you just go like this, like this until you have chaff and then you take this and drop here take this squeeze it and drop here squeeze make sure the water is off before you remove it it's called chaff as i was saying so you basically when you blend the corn you could spice it up with um ginger garlic if you want to make it healthy you could put anything you want to put inside your pap or akamu. The most important thing is, is something that could be drinkable, something that could be edible. So when you blend the corn, you now start, it goes through the process. What I'm doing, you must have a basin of water. Have a basin of water. You must have a bowl with a sieve cloth and then your, this is my grinded or blended corn. 